Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new, please subscribe and hit the bell. It'll really help out my channel and it'll help people find me as well if you share it. And uh, if you're already a subscriber, hey, how you all doing? I'm good. So anyways, uh, if, I, if I get a little, you know, tongue-tied here, it's because it's pretty early in the morning. We have workers coming. I wanted to throw in this video before they got here, before you hear all the hammering and the sawing and ugh, it's just a mess. But anyways, I have the new one new set of the prison floors. There's actually two. <clears throat> this set that I'm using today is Deserted Island. The other one is Tropical Waters. They are absolutely beautiful. They came out in the eight ounce bottles and you get a freebie of the Ginger Snap. These colors are absolutely amazing. You will love them. I am in love with them. What are the colors? The colors that I'm using on the deserted island are maroon, sea monster, saffron, triple sac. <clears throat> My chantilly lays with a pretty face. Agave blue, wild orchid, and ginger snap. These colors have so much sparkle and sheen. It's just, oh, I'm in love. But anyways, I'm going to try something different with these. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Of course, all these prison pourers are a product of Color Art. You can get a nice 20% discount on your whole purchase by using Kathy's discount code, which is KathyMiller520. There's a direct link in the description box to get to the Color Art site. I love this maroon color. What Kathy is doing now is what she calls the drizzle. I'm doing the drizzle, everybody. So hopefully I can do this at this hour in the morning. After that, I'm going on the treadmill. Get my exercise in for the day. After that... I think you should paint while you're on the treadmill. Oh, <laughs> that would be something, wouldn't it? I'll put the speed up to 10. <laughs> oh my God. That would not be good. Then I'm going to do some more uh, fall ween decorations. And I'm going to have Phil actually help me today doing that. I am? Yeah. You're going to be uh, cutting. That's gonna, news to me. You're going to be uh, cutting my wire for me. And when I'm finished with that, people, I'll show you what I'm doing in my spare time. Triple sac is beautiful. It's like a neon color. And uh, no, you don't use it in margaritas. At least this, triple sac. Kathy does have a Facebook group called Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. She'd love to have you join. The neat thing with that is you can post ah. your own creations, make comments, ask questions. It's a really good group, especially for beginners, because you can see Lots of wonderful artist creations in different techniques, and hopefully learn. Okay. There's a direct link in the description box to get to Kathy's, to become a member of Kathy's Facebook group. And I interrupted her and she's with her favorite color. Chantilly lays with a pretty face. Oh yeah, people. Love my Chantilly, babe. Yeah, quit interrupting me during my <laughs> Chantilly lace. I know. <clears throat> also, Phil uploaded uh, 24 new metal prints in our Etsy shop. They're beautiful. Go, Just go take a look at them. I mean, they're stunning. They are absolutely stunning. I think I showed some of them before in a different video, but I, I can show them again if you'd like to see some of them that are in there. It's been a long time since you actually showed those and uh, since I we probably got should. a lot of new ones, yeah, we'll have to add that to a video. Yeah, because I mean, they're so pretty. This is the uh, Wild Orchid. It's a beautiful color too. The object of the drizzle technique is to get all the different colors all over the canvas without any one color overtaking any part of the canvas. But you also want to leave some of the base white, if that's what you're using, white color showing through. Okay. 
Okay. Now we're done. Kathy calls this the mishmash. Ah, mishmash. Oh, mishmash. Okay. <laughs> Get a correct fill. <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to use my spatula. I'm not going to use my playing card today. This is a pretty good sized canvas. And like I said, I got to get this video fish before the workers show up. So anyways, this is my cell activator, which is Oxide Black by Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol. We're going to see what happens with these colors because they're beautiful. Okay, how should I start this film? Um, I think I'm gonna From go the here. beginning? Yeah. I wouldn't go back and forth. I That's know you That's just my wouldn't. suggestion, my unsolicited advice for today I know you is. But that's you. When you do a swipe, the reason I mention that, when you do a swipe, <clears throat> it does affect the result, depending on if you do a straight swipe, or you do a squiggly <laughs> swipe, swipe. <laughs> or do an even more uh, back and forth swipe. It does change the complexion of the cells and so forth. That's the size and complexion of the cells. So my favorite is a straight swipe because that results in more uniform, larger cells uh, normally. As you can see, we're getting a number, whoops. We're getting we're a, getting number. a, a large Whoops. number of cells uh, with a, a, a quite a nice variety of colorations. And that's the object of the drizzle, is to get lots of different colored cells all next to each other. That's what we're doing, Phil. You got it right. Hey, look at that. Mm -hmm. It's a perfect, just perfect size. <clears throat> We're picking up every single color from that deserted island prison pour set that Kathy used today, which is oh. really, really neat. One more and we're done. Mm -hmm. I think I made up all the cell activator. Don't want to run out. One thing about the cell activator, I want to mention that Kathy likes to use the cell activator as soon as possible within a a couple of days of her making it, she believes that fresh cell activator makes a big difference in the cell activation that you're supposed to get from it. And as you can see, using fresh cell activator has absolutely created tons and tons of beautifully vibrant cells from the prison Oh, board. these are pretty. Yes. They're really pretty. <clears throat> Holy moly. And I'm not I'm gonna leave these uh at yeah, those spots. Yes, that's fine. Okay. Now I'm not sure I want to enhance this that much. I don't think you need to because um, you've got such wonderful cells. Yeah, I really don't think I'm going to do that. I'm gonna spin it, of course. But I'm not going to do much of that either. Oh, 
off. Stop. The black cell activator ring really, really enhances these colors. Yes. Okay. I'm going to spin this a little. Okay. I'm going pretty slow because I don't have my canvas secured. <laughs> well, also, you don't need to go fast anyways. No. But I want to show everyone what you can get uh, with these colors. Th these colors are absolutely amazing. I mean, just look at these colors. Okay, all that. They're so uh, pretty. You see, in this area here, you have literally every single mm -hmm. color that was used. Even here. Yes. And that is really what the drizzle is all about. As you remember from the beginning of the video, Kathy drizzled all the colors all over the canvas. And that way you can pick up cells of all the colors Literally all over the canvas. Mm -hmm. They're so pretty. Love these. But then, you know, this is my demonstration of um, these beautiful prism pours. They're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, they're so sparkly. You can't go wrong. And like I said, uh, the two sets are amazing. They're just, they're beautiful. Just and look at them, how the multicolored cells you've picked up. Some mm -hmm. of these cells have three and four different colors inside them. Mm -hmm. The black cell activator surrounds the cells, which really gives good, great definition to the cells. So know, everybody. Did you want to do any um, enhancing at all? I know you did this mainly to show the, to show the colors and it's, it's beautiful just the way it is, I think. Um. Let me think about it because we can come back and okay. uh All right. no I, I I actually like it the way it is, really. I mean, I probably will enhance it. I just have to think here a little bit uh what I want to do because I'm not too sure what enhancing tool I want to use, so I'm gonna go scrunch around in my bucket and uh we'll come back if I enhance it we can we can come back okay. so until later, I'll see you maybe. Love you all. Bye-bye.